At the Thought Collective, we love thinking up of new ways to help our communities become braver and kinder. So I had this really strange idea one day where what if we got a group of random strangers to have dinner together, put aside their weapons and talk about stuff that normally people fight over. This is a segment from our Regardless of Race dinner where we talk about this question. I'm married to someone of another race if you want to call it. My kids experience it every day. So to me, it's, it's a living reality. Regardless of race pledge that I recite every day in the morning, on one hand, it's a reminder. On another hand, it's also a slap to wake me up and say, what are we regarding less? Or are we even regarding less? I find it very sad. I mean, I used to go to my friend's house for Diwali, Deepavali, whatever. It's, it's beautiful, but we don't do it anymore. And I think that's a function of not so much that we don't want to share our culture, but a function of how busy we are, how stressful life is here. And, yeah. I remember in sec one, I guess this girl, and then she looked at my hand, and then she turned it over. <laughs> then she looked here, she turned it over. Then she was like, how come this colour different from this colour? Oh my how gosh. Old she? It's like it's like oh my god. <laughs> and I just... She has had absolutely no exposure to a member of the different race. Like I actually asked my mum one day, coming back from school, I think I was about 10, I was like, Mommy, am I a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, what? I said, like, yeah, because uh, I'm very different from all the other kids. Are we, are we werewolves? And she was like, oh. <laughs> how, did, how did I create this child? <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, no, we're Eurasians. It's like, oh. Most of them don't know what Eurasian is. <laughs> you know, like, I'll call you Chinese, uh. I'll call you Indian. Uh. You know, like, uh, in Thai, people just think I'm Thai and I work at like, you know, where, whatever the, the, the restaurant is. I think at the end of the day, you have to remember your roots and all that, but um, it would be great if we get to the point where race does not matter. And the fact is, as long as we have different races, it will matter. Mm. But how much it matters mm. is up to us. As long as we feel that there's something wrong and it has to be changed, and we can change it in a civil manner. There's pain, there's anger. You know, we have to learn how to navigate it. I think that the way forward is we need to open up and start talking. Like, pretty much everyone needs to do what we've been doing for the past hour at this table. Because if we don't start talking about it as a country, we can't get past the wounds and the pain and the anger. If you want to come for our public DMZ dinners, click here to find out how.